All right, so here we are looking at Olio task two. And what you need to do here is look at what you look at your results from task one and adjust anything that I've told you to fix up as first part of task two. Then we make our way through. So all this information we're seeing here, let's open this up here. This is our latest assessment task. So task two, do early mid, call it early to mid term three. That doesn't mean we're going to wait until the last minute. This is stuff we should be working on right now. So we have everything here was what we did in task one. First part of task two is update everything from task one. Then we have these next few headings here, which in our classroom is a doc we're just looking at. If you click on that link, it will open up this page here. All right, so this is just like that green doc you had for task one that outlines a few headings. This is gonna give you a bit of a direction that you need to fit, go down. Design modifications. Here I wanna see things about a cutting list. This is a table that outlines every single piece of timber that you need to cut. Click on that link, it'll open up that document. Click on that link there. It'll give you a video that will outline what you need to do to fill in a cutting list. And this is that document there. Watch that video to outline what you need to do. Next one is a materials list. This will list all material that you need to create your project. Hardwoods, the timber, hinges, everything. There's a blank version. There's a little YouTube video that goes through how to fill in this materials list. Now, all these separate documents, you've then got to format and get them into your folio submission. This is just some little helps and tips along the way. Now, design modifications. The unique part on every single person's dartboard is going to be their marketry. So for this project, it's kind of dictated to you, but marketry would be your modification. So what are you doing? How are you doing it? What are the steps? You might even put a bit of research in this part here. That's fine. But tell me about marketry, how you're doing it, what designs you're going to do, what your options are. Tell me everything that you know. Lay that out for me to outline to the marker what modifications you are going to do in your project, being it marketry. Then you have testing and experimentation. So here you outline your experiment you did on marketry. And then you're going to tell me about what you learned from this experiment. So did you try and use a bit of timber or a marketry design that was too small? Did you have pieces of timber break? Did you need to recut things? Did you need to engrave multiple passes? All of that is what I want you to write about in your experiments. Then in your testing and modeling, your door that you created, that may have been your first time using the raised panel router cutter. So what did you do? What was involved? And then images. It's all about images to communicate to the marker. I did test, I did experiment. Here's what I did. It was my process, this is what I learned. So it's all tying in each of these steps of your folio. Workshop drawings, Fusion 360. Now I'm not filming you any more videos. I stopped halfway through. I now expect it's now on you to draw these next few steps. You can have an attempt. If you've got an issue, contact me and we'll talk through. But I expect you to have the skills to be able to draw the next part of this entire project. And then I expect to see drawings, title blocks, dimensions, Picture what we have up in that notice board in the classroom. I need your version of that. Your drawings, I reckon we're looking at 10 pages of drawings there. Record of production. This is probably going to be a good 20 pages of your folio. This can be color coded, information you have to have. If we click on this link here, it opens up this page here. I want to see images, dates, descriptions, WHS considerations, and problems and solutions. Here is a layout from a student from previous years. There's an image, there's the date, the heading, what were they doing? The WHS I had to consider, a problem that they faced, the solution that overcome it. Here is a step, here is a date, here is a description. Same again, same again. So take note though, not every single step is going to have a problem and a solution. I don't expect to see problem, 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 problem. But when you face the problem, you need to highlight it, point it out to me and move on from there. So that's what I want to see for steps of production, regular production. The solutions to problems. So this can be assessed through that as well, but I need you to outline where was the problem? What did you do? Did you buy more timber? Outline everything there. And then the final evaluation here, we're looking at reviewing your statement of intent. Did you achieve everything that you set out to do in your statement of intent? Then you might tell me, you might actually then actually go back to the statement of intent and fix that up a little bit because you some people get a bit confused about what they should incorporate here, but your statement of intent might say, I'm going to create a particular piece of entertainment furniture that's going to incorporate games for my family. And then your statement of intent 
you've listed that in the evaluation. Have you now achieved that? Have you created some kind of a entertainment cabinetry device that allows your entire family to come together to play games on a Saturday afternoon? And then explain that to me. But you might tell me things like the materials in your statement of intent that you were going to research Australian hardwoods and use a strong Australian hardwood that would withstand the back deck with exterior finish. And so in your evaluation, have you done that? Is it Australian hardwood? Does it have a good finish? Is it fit for purpose to be used outside on the back deck? And then I want you to communicate that to me to show that you've engaged with your product in that final evaluation. So they are all the steps, gentlemen. That's what we need to see. Lots of photos taken and obviously the finished project as well.